Hi, this is MTB214. I got this Hugo Strange as Batman figure yesterday from Target. I finished work early, so I'm like, oh, I'll check by there. So, uh, and I saw this there, so I was like, I basically got this just to fix, uh, I the most Batman with the cape, but I'll find something for this. <laughs> so, I'll be reviewing this figure with the package accessories etc this is target it might be exclusive there it's McFarlane platinum edition here's the front one side Hugo Strange's Batman from Batman Transference I looked up this is from the year 2000-2001 the storyline here's the back of Hugo Strange he's wearing a suit there not the bat suit oops on the other side just Batman you Hugo Strange Batman with the QR code for like a video game. On the top, not much. The bottom, the barcode and the legalese. So I pre opened this to check it out. So, I'm not much of a comic book reader, so like I didn't get it for that. But I was like, oh, like, this will help me to fix it. So. Comes with the trading card, the stand, as usual. Let's take a look at the card. Since I don't know much about him, I saw that he's done a few different things over the years. So, real name, Hugo Strange. Hugo Strange was one of very few people who had deduced Batman's secret identity. He rose to fame as a psychological consultant on Gotham City's talk show speculating on Batman's psyche and motivations. Fortunately for Batman, Strange's own psychological instability always made it difficult for him to remember what he knew for very long, so the Dark Knight avoided the danger of having his identity widely known. So, he's a smart guy. <laughs> but uh, I, for the older things, I saw like he was like a scientist and but like with like chemicals and different things, so he's done different things over the years. And Hugo Strange is from 1939, is when he first. Oh no, no, 1940. So he has a long history. And uh, Batman came out in 1939, which is this first appearance of Batman. So they both came out about the same time, him just a year after. The logo is different though. But this is, I just wanted to take that for a minute. So let's take a look at Hugo Strange as that. So he comes with this Bruce Wayne mask. I can't really take this off to plastic. The hair there has face paint, mouth open, the back, the hair, that. So. This could be interesting to use for some like other diorama, like put it in some like villain's lay or something. <laughs> or that uh, some crazy thing happened and like took all the bones out of the person, so they're just basically like a jelly, which isn't nice. And he comes with these two other hands. The problem with this is, let's take this out to show. This hand. It's just like plain. These hands have sort of design on it. So, doesn't match. But you could put it on if you want, or like use those hands for others, but it's a different kind of design for those hands than the hands that are on him. So, for you, go strange. His head and neck are one piece, like the Three Jokers Batman. That can go down, forward, you can see a little gap there, and there's a weird line there, I don't know why. And can go side to side, you can rotate. So it's like three jokers, Batman could be on the head and neck connecting. The arms can go up over 90. Has rotation at the upper bicep. There's the double jointed arms with, oh, that's a pretty nice cut there. Not broken up with the uh, pins. The wrist can go back and forth and around. And you can take off these hands to switch with the others that don't really match. 
um, the chest has the diaphragm cut, can go around, and he has the cut there too, Those can go forward, and back, he has double jointed knees, with pins, the ankles can go rotate and forward and back, he has toe articulation as well, it's an interesting that logo on there. This is from the year like 2000, 2001, the story, so it's not the original one. And he has the wired cape, which is a great feature, but this wired cape should have been with him. And you can see the size difference too. That's why this is so much longer, because look at how tall, much taller Hugo Strange is than Adam West Batman. So I looked up, I didn't do it yet, but I like. Next friend looked up that had to do this. Use a hair dryer, heat this up, heat this up, switch it off the take off the cape, switch it on the body, and then put the these pieces back. So then they'll be correct. That's mostly why I got him, but I'll, I'll find a use for him. It's a cool different logo for Batman. And then you could like switch the head or figure something out. I don't know. But uh, this is definitely a cool figure. Let's take a look at him. Some figures from various lines. Let's see how he stacks up. Okay. So just moving this over. Turn it around. One of my cats was messing around with this thing. That's why it's a little messed up up there and on the side. Ugh. She tries to wake me up during the middle of the night, but it's still, like, in one piece. I could just, like, use a little black paint and marker to make the, fix the little pieces that she messed up. So, there's Hugo Strange with some figures from various lines. The Cody Rhodes Mattel figure. There's the first appearance of Batman. There's... Ne and this is McFarlane, that's Mattel. There's NECA's Robocop behind him. And there's Frankenstein from the Four Horsemen. Oops. And there's um, She-Hulk, and I put like clothes on her, which those clothes actually came from Dollar Tree. And there's Ned D Ned B, which is a Star Wars figure, which is Hasbro. That's Hasbro as well. So this figure is definitely interesting to get if like you're into like Hugo Strange. You could probably. Take off the head, put it on a suited body or like a lab coat body if you have one, or um, have him in this sort of um, costume. But it wasn't nice that he came with the wrong extra hands with that pattern on it. And um, you could switch the cape to make it right with this Batman. So, definitely interesting to get. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, check out my previous videos. Have a great day. Take care.